Hi everyone, thanks for coming over. This is the final donkey butt. Uh, on today's episode, I'm going to finally stop talking about E3 2013, and I'm gonna own up to some dumb bets I made. Let's get started. Welcome to the show. I am Donkey Butt, of course. If me calling myself Donkey Butt is confusing to you, that makes sense. Uh, a few episodes ago, before E3, I made some dumb bets that I probably shouldn't have made, and today I am paying the price to review. Best press conference, Sony. Nailed it. Best looking game, uh, something from EA. Uh, probably Battlefield 4. I feel like this one I got right enough to not be wrong, so I'm gonna count that as right. Best surprise, I think it's gonna be Nintendo. No, no, not even, not even close. Nintendo had no surprises. Uh, I think actually the best surprise was uh, honestly how, how Sony did not have DRM and that their system would be $400. The Last Guardian, no, got that right. Practically bare breasts in the Ubisoft press conference, not this year, nailed it. Final Fantasy Versus 13, no. This one, I gotta count as wrong. Uh, I did actually think that Versus 13 would become 15, but I didn't think they would mention that name at all. And since they did technically call it Versus 13 for probably five minutes, uh, I have to say I got that one wrong. Final Fantasy 15, yes, right. Next gen game announced with dinosaurs in it, yes. Most usage of the word experience, Microsoft. Wrong, it was actually Sony. Lara Croft, no, nailed it. Duke Nukem, yes. Got that very, very, very wrong. Next gen game announced where you can double jump, no. We're counting Titanfall, so that one is wrong. Ridge Racer, yes. Wrong. Most interesting launch title, Knack. I'm gonna stick with Knack on this one. Dumbest looking launch title, Knack. Definitely right. Number of original titles announced, 10. All right. So count these with me. Sunset Overdrive, D4, Project Spark, Titanfall, Below. I'm not counting that Black Tusk Studios thing. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, I am counting. Because I think that it is a different game. It's like how Mario Golf isn't a Mario game. It is its own unique title. Also, EA, thank you for starting your press conference with a weird game like Garden Warfare. The Crew, The Division, The Order. And I'm counting Mad Max because I think that it is not like a, a movie tie-in. I think it's kind of like a shared universe thing. So if I'm not mistaken, that number equals 10. I still did not too great. That is eight out of 16. Uh, so that's 50-50, not, not spectacular. And, and the ones that I got wrong, I got so wrong. So to pay up for it, I am donkey butt for the rest of today. And I hope that, that doesn't hurt my credibility too much, being donkey butt. And that sort of leads well into my next segment, my three big E3 takeaways from 2013. Takeaway number one, games are good. Uh, I'll make this one quick because the next two are kind of long. Microsoft, Ubisoft, EA, Sony, and Nintendo all put games at the forefront of their presentations and we liked them. We asked for games, they gave us games, things were good, thank you. Takeaway number two, the Wii U will not have the best fall lineup of any next gen console. Oh brother, uh, so a few episodes ago, I made the bold statement that the Wii U was gonna blow everyone else out of the water this fall, that it would have the most great games to play that, on any other console. Uh, boy, was I ever wrong. <laughs> uh, that's pretty clear to me, that was, that was perhaps too bold. Uh, what I cited was that Super Mario Galaxy 1 and Super Mario Galaxy 2 are, are two of the highest rated video games of all time. And, and I was excited because we're, <laughs> I thought we were getting another one of those. Super Mario 3D World is not one of those. Already, it's easy to tell, will not be one of the highest rated video games of all time. Look at what we're allowed to do in this game. Nintendo, if you honestly can't see the difference, look at Mario Galaxy, look at look at Mario 64, look at this game that is 17 years old and what you're allowing us to do in that one, and then look at Super Mario 3D World. Mario Kart 8 I, I thought would also be around this fall, that was apparently a big dumb thing too, that is, it won't be around until spring of next year, and that game looks beautiful, that is a gorgeous, ravishing game. I want to I want to jump out of that cart and I want to run and jump around those worlds. Super Mario 3D World to me looks very clearly just like running around in designed levels. Like, hey Mario, your mission in this video game is to beat all these video game levels. Whereas I think one of 
the points of greatness of Mario's legacy has been creating worlds for us to explore, living environments for us to progress through, and today we're, we're left with flagpoles that don't have a castle next to them. Just flagpoles doing nothing out in nowhere. What are you doing out here, flagpole? Who put you there? People tell me that that story isn't important in a Mario game. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto tells me that even. And that may be true, but I think that context is. <laughs> and that is something that is severely lacking in Super Mario 3D World. And, and, and I'm fairly certain now that the Wii U will not have the best fall lineup. Who will? Nintendo 3DS. And introducing a new type of Pokemon, Fairy type. Takeaway number three, public opinion is a whole new game, baby. One of what I think the biggest differences between the start of the last generation and the start of this next generation is actually us. We are. We have changed a lot over the past eight years. We're, we're smarter now. We're funnier now. We are more connected now. And what's probably scariest for PR teams of the world is that our, our voice is louder now. And I don't just mean Angry Joe and Francis. I mean you there, you sitting and watching this. You can thumbs down anything you don't like now. You can, you can go on Reddit and, and upvote any disparaging meme <laughs> that you're laughing at. You can go on Twitter and you can directly insult and mock a company in public, right, right to their faces. We have more influence now than we've ever had. And, and I also feel like we are less susceptible to, to BS, <laughs> which is a very good thing. Uh, I have to be honest, I assumed that Microsoft would give us this Xbox One and then we would just gobble it up. That they would pour it into our troughs and we would just devour it like good little piggies because there's exclusive content and a new Halo game. Well, well we, we kind of didn't. We we're still having a laugh at all the things we don't like about the Xbox One. And I don't know if I've ever seen a Halo announcement fall so flat as the one that we received last week. I don't know if there's ever been so much not talking about a new Halo game. And I don't just mean like, oh, the hashtag is doing bad. I mean, I don't think imaginations were sparked. I don't think that in people's minds, they're excited about the new Halo game. It's probably because the last one came out seven months ago. If you want people to get excited about Master Chief disrobing and showing his helmeted face, uh, it should probably be at least a year since the last time we saw him. What I mean to say is that I'm proud of us. I'm proud of how we've handled this and, and, and how smart we all are together. I'm proud of how we dealt with a corporation pushing back on some of the things that we will probably not take for granted anymore. And that is the show for this week. You can find me on Twitter at Kyle Bossman, and I assure you I'm real. And I will hopefully see you next week. Thanks for watching. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too. Hi, uh, I'm here to deliver a new desk. Oh my goodness, it's here. Yeah, straight from the all access stage. Oh, it's happening. I uh, just need you to sign right here. Um, no, sorry, I need the signature of Kyle Bossman. Do you, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Can, can, it, can it wait one more no, day? No, I mean, if, if I don't get a signature today, this thing's gonna go back to India. Are you sure you're not Kyle Bossman? It says so right here on no. your... No. My name is Donkey Butt. Okay. Uh, whatever, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's in the box? Oh, uh, just an incredibly large, fancy new desk. Do you know where I could find Kyle Bossman? Yeah, I'm Kyle Bossman. Oh, yeah, great, here. Uh, just sign right there, it's all yours, Kyle. That easy. There great. you go. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, Enjoy no your problem. new desk. We did it.